hello from Germany. Uh, dear German, dear uh, chairperson, thank you very much for the invitation uh, to uh, uh, to, uh, to this wonderful event. Um, uh, I would like to present you a case of a physiologic assessment of complex coronary lesion. Um, and um, these are my credentials um, and my potential conflict of, conflict of interest. So the patient uh, I would like to talk about today is a 77-year-old male with history of severe cr uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, diabetes mellitus, arterial hypertension, and dyslipidemia. Uh, he has been complaining of chest pain for several weeks and dyspnea in class 3 in Eurocarpus Association. Uh, ECHO revealed hypokinesia of posterior and inferior wall and uh, ejection fraction of 40%. In outside hospital, uh, which referred the patient to us, uh, there was some non-invasive imaging performed with uh, a reversible ischemia in the territories of the right coronary artery and uh, LAD, and uh, no relevant ischemia of the posterior posterior lateral wall. And it will turn out to be to be quite important uh, in the further further course. So let's move on to the uh, coronary angiography. Uh, this showed some several three vessel uh, coronary artery disease with long um, and uh, severe stenosis, uh, quite calcified stenosis of the LAD. Uh, it showed some complex uh, stenosis of the circumflex artery here in the mid portion, and it showed uh, the chronic total occlusion of the right coronary artery with some collateral filling from the uh, LAD over the septal branches. Um, and the treatment strategy uh, we were talking about or we were thinking about was uh, the first discussion with the heart team. Um, the patient was accepted uh, for the surgery uh, uh, with slightly elevated risk because of COPD and frailty, but he refused. So we talked uh, to him about performing PCI and planned staged procedure. First procedure should uh, uh, include revascularization of the LAD territory or, and evaluation of the circumflex artery and PCI, and if needed. And in the further course, we uh, would plan uh, the um, opening of the um, CTO of the right coronary artery. So, as planned uh, before, we moved on to the PCI of the LAD. We wired the LAD with the normal standard uh, workhorse wire. Uh, the diagonal branch could be wired with fielder XT CTO wire. And then we pre-dilated everything. And then we uh, uh, decided uh, to go for two stand strategy. I put a or zero stand into the uh, diagonal branch. We uh, crushed it uh, with um, a balloon in the LAD. Then we put a long uh, stand in the LAD, then the second one. Uh, then uh, this was the result before uh, kissing, final kissing inflation. Then after potting it, we uh, obtained quite nice result. This was the uh, final result of the LAD. And then uh, we moved uh, to the circumflex artery. And please keep in mind that uh, uh, the colleagues from other hospital described this uh, lesion as uh, non-relevant or non-invasive non uh, testing described uh, no relevant ischemia of the posterolateral wall. And um, this uh, uh, lesion looked pretty much relevant to us, but uh, having this uh, result from uh, PET-CT and a uh, SPECT uh, uh, we felt we would like to test it with physiology, physiology imaging. It was the perfect opportunity to test the capability of the uh, new microcatheter-based FFR system. So we did it. Um, and um, first, we tried to advance the workers' wire to the distal circumflex artery, which was not possible. Uh, conventional pressure wire wouldn't go down either, but uh, we, we would never do this with, with this normal wire. Uh, after exchanging to whisper light support wire, negotiating the lesion was uh, 
possible. Uh, however, it took a little bit uh, to bring the wire all the way down. And after equalizing the pressure, uh, the uh, FFR microcatheter went into the lesion without any big, big problems. Uh, but here is the fluorescent tense I recorded uh, after performing the measurement to demonstrate the deliverability of this system. And uh, the FFR value without adenosine was uh, 0.6. So uh, we planned uh, the PCI. And after exchanging the uh, whisper light support wire to uh, rota wire uh, over a support single lumen microcatheter, we uh, took a 1.5 millimeter burr, uh, rota bladed uh, everything. This was the um, initial result after uh, the atherectomy. Um, then we uh, just dilated it, put two stents. So this is the first one. And um, after putting two stents, we checked um, the um, uh, FFR. Uh, and we will uh, see here the um, uh, pass passage or advancement of the microcatheter system and parallel uh, the uh, screen of the true physio microcatheter uh, FFR system. And uh, you can see that the microcatheter is uh, quite distal in the lesion. After injecting adenosine, we have a FFR value of uh, 0.3. Uh, so uh, we demonstrated clearly no residual stenosis of this, um, of this lesion. And after pulling uh, the uh, microcatheter and the wire, we checked one more time. Um, and. Uh, we were quite happy with the result, both in the LAD and diagonal branch and uh, uh, this um, uh, circumflex artery. Uh, so my take home messages after this case were that advancing in conventional pressure wire can really be challenging complex anatomy. And this uh, novel system, uh, at least for me, it was novel, uh, uh, is uh, 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 maybe really good solution to overcome this issue. And rechecking the FFR after completed PCI procedure is very likely to modify the treatment strategy. In this case, it, it did not, but normally you should always do this. And I would like to refer uh, to this uh, defined trial, defined PCI trial I like very much, uh, uh, where uh, uh, people me measure, measure the, uh, or colleagues measured the FFR after uh, apparently very good angiographic result and demonstrated residual stenosis and uh, put then additional stents or perform additional post dilatation. So uh, this rechecking the FFR in complex le lesion where the gear like balloons or stents, uh, whatever is advanced over specialty wires uh, is much faster with microcatheter based system than it would be normally the case if you need to uh, uh, advance normal wire once again. So uh, it's really a uh, nice thing to have, I think. Oh, thank you very much for your kind attention. Uh, and thank you uh, to the sponsors for making it possible.